Hello, good afternoon, everyone. So my name is Rita Mendez, and I am running for city council at large here in Brockton. So let me just tell you a little bit about Rita. I am originally from Brazil, and I came to the United States when I was 12 years old, and I did not speak a word of English. And then when I was 16 years old, my mother, she had to return to Brazil, and I was left in this country alone because no one wanted to be responsible for caring for a 16-year-old. However, there was someone that wanted to be responsible for caring for that 16-year-old, and that was myself. I chose to be responsible for myself, and at that time, I was attending Brockton High School. And I was fortunate enough that I was at this school because at this school, I met my guidance counselor and she took the time, she took the time with me. She took the time because she understood that I was going through very tough times in my life with no permanent home to live and she put her trust in me and she helped me not only to graduate from high school, but to be the first in my family to attend Massasoit, and she helped me get scholarship. So I was able to continue to maintain my grades, be able to go to Massasoit, graduate from there, attend UMass Dartmouth, graduated from UMass Dartmouth, and then I finally went through law school while working full time, while um, in real estate, I put myself through school, working at night uh, and studying and just really working hard to be there. So, tell that story because I think it's important. And it's important, and today, uh, a lot of people, they ask me, because I'm a practicing attorney here in Brockton, I'm very proud of it, because I know how hard it was to get there. And I am a businesswoman, I am a lawyer, but most importantly, I am a mother, and I'm not a politician. And people have asked me, what do you mean about that? I mean that I am a mother. I'm a mother who's not afraid to fight for our children. I'm a mother who wants to ensure that our schools continue to hire dedicated teachers like that guidance counselor who really helped me be who I am today. And I'm a mother who's not afraid, not afraid to fight for safety, not afraid to fight for our children. And I am here today and I ask that you support me and consider voting for me September 17 and also November 5th in this election. Thank you, thank you so much for having me here today. It's a pleasure. Thank you.